Hello, dear friends. You are on Watson, the channel about CNC World in simple words and only useful information for you. Today, we would like to tell you about DSP Controller, which is suitable for all line of our milling machines, what it is comfortable for, what functions it has, how to connect it and set it up if you decide to connect it to the machine. To connect, you need the Rich Auto System. When ordering from us, we can, if necessary, connect the remote and adjust the system based on the equipment of the machine. If you want to connect the DSP controller after the purchase, then this video will help you get better acquainted with the remote. And so, let's move on to the remote. On the front of the remote control, we see 16 buttons and a slot for a flash drive. On the back side, there are tips on various functions, in case you suddenly forgot something. Each button has several functions, depending on the mode of operation of the keyboard and the device itself. X plus 1 button. Positive movement along the X axis. In the menu, up, entering the digit 1. Button Y plus 2. Positive movement along the Y axis, entering the digit 2. Changes the value in the selected menu item during the execution of the program, increasing the feed rate in increments of 10%. Z plus 3. Positive movement in Z axis, entering the digit 3, increasing the spindle speed in operation. XY-04. Setting the working zero in the XY axis, entering digit 4. X-5. Negative movement in X axis. Menu, down. Enter digit 5. Y-6, negative movement along the Y-axis, slowing down the cutting speed, entering digit 6. Changes the value in the selected menu item during the execution of the program. Reduction of the feed rate in steps of 10%. Z-7, negative movement in Z-axis, entering the digit 7. Reduction of the spindle speed in operation. Z-0-8. Adjustment of the working zero of the Z axis, entering the digit 8. Home 9. Going home on all axes, entering a digit 9. High, low, zero. Manual motion control mode, switching between high and low speed, entering the digit 0. Switching between working and mechanical coordinate system when working in automatic mode. On, off, point. Start, stop the spindle. Enter a decimal point. Menu. Starts the menu. Enters a dash. Checks the status of the operation. Origin OK. Move the tool to the working zero in all axes. Confirm the movement. Input. Execute operation. Mode. Switching of manual control modes. Continuous. Step by step. And distance modes. Run, pause, delete. Start, pause. Edit, delete characters. Stop, cancel. Stops the operation. Stops the movement. Cancels the entry of the operation. Menu plus on off is to start tool calibration in the Z axis. On off point plus Z dash Z plus is start spindle, increase RPM speed. So we got acquainted with the functionality of the buttons. Let us tell you a little bit about the initial settings for the first connection that you may need. Press the stop cancel button and go to the menu of speeds when idling, not during operation. Depending on which mode was on before pressing high or low, we will go to the setting of fast or slow movement. 
For each mode, you can put your settings. Useful and necessary settings in the menu. Press the Menu button and go to the submenu, Machine Setup, Pulse Equiv, Pulse Equivalent. Sets the number of necessary pulses, step pulse signals, to move per unit length, millimeter. It depends on the installed motor. The next item, Table Size, sets the size of the working field for all three axes. Since the system uses software and not hardware limiters on the axes, the size of the working field to be processed must correspond exactly to the actual. Spindle Setup, Extended Spindle Settings, Spindle Delay, Delay Before Spindle Spinning, Home Setup and Home Speed Submenu. Sets the speed of each axis and return to the home position. And Home Order Submenu. Home Order. Toolset Setup. Tool Height Sensor Settings. Here the necessary submenu, CAD Thickness. Next, Excel. These parameters are used to make straight lines. Line Excel, Curved Lines, Curve Excel, and Circles, J Excel, more stable. Next, Max Speed Limit. Limits the maximum speed. Next, Distant Time Limit. Time Limit of Manual Mode. If you select Distance Mode and the machine does not make any movement for a certain period of time, Default is 30 seconds. The system automatically switches to continuous mode. Next, item input config. This item allows you to disable some input terminals. If the pins X5-X8 are not used on the board, the user can disable their use. The next item is Auto Pro Setup, Work Speed, Safe Height, Auto Scale, X and Y Scale, Fall Scale, Z Direction, Stop Statue. These are the basic settings you must make the first time you connect. We'll include a link to more extensive and detailed instructions below this video. We're always happy to help you understand and choose the right tools to solve your problems. This has been Watson Channel with you. See you again. Give us a thumbs up and don't miss our videos about the world of CNC.